What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today we are talking about the OPI Fall Wonders collection for autumn 2022. We've got 12 brand new polishes and a pretty interesting split. So six of them are these moodier, darker colors and six of them are pretty bright rainbowy colors. And we also have a little bit of an interesting collection because usually OPI will do a fall winter collection and then a holiday collection. This time the collection is just for fall. So I'm curious to see what they do for winter slash holiday, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. But if you haven't heard of OPI before, they are a pretty popular mainstream salon brand that is three free. So they are free of the big three. And that is potentially harmful ingredients that are often found in nail polish. So like I said, we've got 12 nail polishes to go over. I'm going to do my swatches first, then we'll talk a little bit more about pricing, availability, my thoughts on the collection, so let's just dive in and roll the swatches. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I'm using the Cuccio base coat, so I'll link it below. We'll start off with this first shade called Peace of Mind, and this is a really pretty color. I like to call it a grayish. It's somewhere between a gray and a beige shade, so it's just this very warm, light, buff, gray kind of color, and I love when OPI makes these sort of soft neutral shades and the opacity on them can be hit or miss. I think the formula is always great, but sometimes they do require more coats for full opacity. Now this one on me was a two coater, but my nails are actually even a little bit shorter than usual and they're pretty short in general. So I think if they were any longer, I would probably need a third, but overall it's a really gorgeous color. It's a nice soft palette cleanser and a perfect fall shade. Next up we have the shade Clay Dreaming and this one is a a dusty rose cream shade and this one just had really impressive opacity you can see it actually covered up my visible nail line in the first coat and it was pretty much there in the first coat but I did do a second coat just to get that full full coverage and I really liked this color it's another nice simple neutral shade and another type of polish that OPI does really well I think this one has a nice dustiness to it it does dry slightly darker on the nail than it does in the bottle but it's a beautiful color color and again just a nice neutral simple manicure to have on. Next up we have the shade Brown to Earth which oh my gosh what a stunning deep purpley brown this color is. I absolutely love that super cool undertone but the color itself is just so rich and nice. I was a little nervous on application because the first coat didn't really give me too much opacity but it ended up being full coverage in the second coat and like I said it's such a beautiful color. It's that classic OPI cream formula so it's very self-leveling and easy to paint on and it just looks really beautiful on the nails. I just think it's a perfect deep brown. Again a nice neutral. I know I keep saying that but the first half of the collection is just these really beautiful neutral shades. Moving on we have I Micah Be Dreaming and this one actually ended up being my favorite in the whole collection. It's this really beautiful soft champagne-y sort of gold metallic shimmer but then within that we actually have this really intense copper flake running throughout. So you can see it a little bit better after I've painted it on when I move my nail around, but there's just this nice pop of this metallic orangey warmth in there that adds so much dimension to the nails. And I think it looks so gorgeous. I feel like this is such a statement manicure and from a distance, it just looks like this champagne -y gold, but up close, you just get so much extra special sparkle. Next, we have the shade Clean Slate and this one is is a beautiful cool toned medium gray that actually has a bit of a pearlized shimmer running throughout. So it looks like it's almost like a bluish silver shimmer in there. So with this one and with pearlized shimmers in general, you definitely want to be careful with the brush strokes that you're doing so that they look nice and even. And usually once I'm done painting on, I will go in with a thin third coat just to make those lines nice and smooth. Now I didn't do that for this polish because in person I thought it looked good in two coats but looking at it I see a little bit of patchiness around my cuticle area so I probably should have done that third thin coat. Regardless it's a really pretty shade. Next up we have the shade Cave the Way and this is basically just a very very deep version of Clean Slate although there are a couple of little differences. So this one is actually an almost black base that again has this bluish silver shimmer running throughout but then when you look really closely at it 
it, you can also see that there's little blue metallic flecks that just add a nice little sparkle and dimension to it. This one was less pearlized, so I didn't have to be as careful with the brush strokes, and I thought it looked really beautiful in two coats, but again, I just see a little bit of patchiness around the cuticle area, but I think that's user error. It looks like I just pushed too far down when I was applying that second coat, so don't mind that. Next up, we have the shade Midnight Mantra, and this one is a beautiful navy blue cream shade. And what I love about this one is it's one of those shades that still looks distinctly blue, even in low lighting. You can see on that first coat, it was a little bit lighter, but you get that nice deep navy color in the second coat for full coverage. And I just love that blueness to it. One of my favorite navy blue nail polishes of all time is OPI, I Saw, You Saw, We Saw, Warsaw and this just feels like a more vibrant primary blue version of that so very excited to add it to my collection. So here's where the collection gets a little bit interesting. We have some very bright shades. This is the first of them. It's called Susie Takes a Sound Bath and it is a bright sky blue and when I looked at it in the bottle I actually thought it was a cream finish but once I started applying it I realized it had that pearlized sort of brush strokey finish in there. So I did get full opacity in two coats. I did have to be a little bit careful with my brush strokes because as you can see, they did leave some streaks on the nail. And I think this is a beautiful shade, but to me, this kind of screams summer. So I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I was a little confused at the brightness of this polish being in a fall collection. Then we have the shade Meta Take It All In, which I think by the way is a great name. And this is such a beautiful color. It's a really nice, medium, bright, purple cream. It has a nice neutral, slightly warm undertone to it. And you can see it actually almost gave me one coat coverage. There was still a little bit of patchiness in the first coat, but the second coat did give me a perfect coverage. And I feel like this is going to be a great nail art shade. Anything that's a one coater or almost a one coater is very easy to use when you're doing little nail art details. So I love it for that. But again, this doesn't exactly scream autumn to me. So I was a little confused about this being in the collection. Moving on, we have the shade Redveal Your Truth, which is another pretty funny name. And this one is a bright red cream. Now, classic to OPI fashion, the red polish is absolutely stunning and the formula is so incredibly smooth. It has a little bit of that jelly-like feel to it, which I feel like is pretty typical for OPI reds. And it does give me almost full coverage in that first coat, but perfect coverage in the second. And it's definitely a bright shade. I think that it's pretty usual for OPI to have a red, especially in fall and winter collections. And I think this one is a perfect fit. It's a little bit brighter than I expected, but it's still a beautiful fall classic. Next up, we have the shade Rust and Relaxation. Oh my gosh, these names are cracking me up. So this one is a very vibrant orange cream with an amazing opacity. You can see it is pretty much one coat on me. This is actually what I'm wearing in the intro and outro to this video. And I think it is such a stunning bright color. And honestly, I'm a little conflicted about this one because I do think that bright orange is a great fall shade, but I also really love a good pumpkin-y orange. And this color, paired with the other slightly too bright shades just makes it feel a little bit summery to me. But that said, I am absolutely in love with this shade. It is just so bright and eye-catching and just stunning. And last and honestly possibly least, we have the shade Ochre the Moon, which looking at it, I think it has a slight mustardiness to this yellow cream, but I cannot tell if there is a little bit of a pearlized shimmer in here because no matter how how many coats I did, this polish was just really streaky on my nails. So I'm not sure what's up with this formula. I might have a bad bottle here. And again, this polish on its own, I feel like it could work for fall because I think like a mustard, almost chartreuse vibe works well for autumn. But together with the other bright shades, it just feels a little summery. And again, I'm just confused about this streakiness. I think it ended up giving me full opacity in two thick coats or three thick thin coats, but still looking at it really close, I could just see a little bit of lines and it's not enough to make it a shimmer polish. It's just a weird 
amount of strokiness. You know what I mean? I don't know. So here are all of the shades together. And honestly, despite my light complaining, I do overall really like these. I think the first two rows for me feel like the types of colors that I wear a lot this time of year and definitely into the winter season as well. They feel nice and dark and moody and a little bit neutral, but the bottom shades, I think there's something just about them, the way they look together, not necessarily these colors individually, because I think that red on its own is a great autumn color. I think that yellow could be good if the formula was right, which I personally don't think it is, but looking at them all together, it's almost like this bright summery rainbow. So that's why I was a little confused about those shades being in a fall collection, but the formulas are really nice for the most part. The colors are really beautiful. The formulas are very smooth to apply on and they're pretty opaque. So overall, I was still impressed with the collection. So those are the polishes and overall, I really enjoyed them. I love the formulas. I was a little bit nervous because I love OPI. I think their formula in general is great, but their summer collection from this year, I just didn't love it. The formulas did not work for me. So I was a little apprehensive going into this, but I am pleased to say that we are back to the OPI formula that I know and love. Now, in terms of color though, I really loved the first six polishes, those really moody, dark, very fall inspired shades. I loved the polishes individually that were a part of that brighter rainbow, but to me, they just didn't feel as fall inspired. I actually am wearing the orange right now with the topper, but that's because to me, it still feels like the summer season. I like to wear my polishes seasonally. I know not everybody does, but I just don't know if I see myself wearing those brighter colors deeper into autumn. I think they're really good transitional shades and I think I'm going to end up using them anyway in the future. But as far as that like very autumnal vibe, I just felt like they were a little brighter and more summery, which is actually kind of funny because like I said, I didn't love their summer collection. So maybe this was just a little bit more summer inspired shades to make up for the poor formulas of the last collection. So yeah, I'm a little bit conflicted on the colors, but overall I really enjoyed the collection. I really, really loved those first few colors and overall the formulas I thought were great. So OPI comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. They do have a wide flat brush and they're available in a lot of different retail stores. I personally get mine from HP Beauty Bar, which is an online retailer and there they retail for $9 USD per 15 milliliter bottle. And I also have a discount code. You can use the code Kelly to get 22% off your whole order there. So I will link that down below. But yeah, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of this collection. What do you think of that kind of split between the more fallish colors and the more summery colors? Or do you disagree with me entirely and think these are very fall colors? And also I'm curious, I know most of you don't wear your polishes seasonally. Are there any followers that do wear their polishes seasonally? I'm curious to know if you would wear those brighter colors for the fall. So let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy my swatch and reviews, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put on new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have a second YouTube channel, my vlog channel, where I do a little bit more just about my life in general, a little bit behind the scenes beyond nail polish. And I also have a podcast that's available on all streaming platforms. So I'll link that down below. And of course, a huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Rocky Man's daughter, M. Paula. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Leanne Sperry and Leanne wants to know, why don't you wrap your nail tips or do you and we don't see that bit on camera? So that is a great question. It's actually something that I've been asked a lot in the comments of my videos. The short answer is no, I usually don't wrap my tips. That's for a couple of reasons. One for my swatch videos specifically, I'm not keeping that nail polish on. I just paint my one finger close up and then I take it off and I move on to the next polish. I don't think it's necessary to wrap the tips there just because that's really for prolonging your manicure. The other reason also for swatch videos is that my nails are usually pretty short. So if I did wrap the tip, especially on camera, I would mostly be painting my fingertip and that would require a lot of cleanup and it does look sloppy when I'm doing it. So just for the sake of keeping my swatches looking nice, I just don't bother with that part. But also in real life, I usually don't wrap the tips anyway. I have talked about it in my Nail Polish 101 series and I do recommend it if you want to make your nail polish last longer. And for those of you who are confused on what wrapping the tip is, I do talk about it in my videos. But the general idea is basically you just paint 
the cap of your nail perpendicular so that it lasts a little bit longer. It's less likely to chip that way. Like I've said, I don't wear my manicures for more than a couple days at a time. So most of the time it's just more effort than it's worth because I know I'm going to take it off before it chips anyway. So most of the time I'm lazy. If my nails are longer and I feel like it looks funky without the free edge capped, I will just paint that on. But most of the time I just don't bother. But actually I am curious for how many of you actually wrap your tips when you paint your nails. Maybe I'll post a poll on my community tab, but you can also let me know in the comments. We can have a discussion on it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.